Okay, hi there. So I'm going to do a comparison of Svelte, Vue, and React. And obviously I am biased towards Svelte, so complain in the comments about me being unfair, because um, I probably will be. But here we go. And to start it off, we're going to do real-world comparison. So basically it's a to-do app that was built in all these frameworks, and then they're compared. And to start off with, this one's not very fair to React or Vue, because their projects aren't really maintained very well. But anyway, we're going to see how great Svelte is in this first article. So performance, how well it performs after it um, loads. So Svelte tied for first. And then View and React. We won't look at View and React. We're just going to see that Svelte is number one right here in bundle size. So that is great. So that's first place twice. And then lines of code, we see Svelte here number three. So less lines of code is good. So you can save time and mind space. Okay, so that is the first thing. Now we're going to look at results for JS Web Frameworks benchmark. Blah, 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 blah. So benchmark goes on a razor blade. Blah, blah, blah. So this looks very professional and researchy. Um, so I just included vanilla, view, Svelte, and React. So first one, keyed results, duration in milliseconds to do these types of things. We see, of course, vanilla is number one. And then ViewRx seems to be um, the only framework better than Svelte, but I looked it up and I don't think anyone uses this, but um, it's there. So it's felt it's number one, view number two, and then React takes up here at the last place. Okay, if we do uh, look at startup metrics, similar, this little guy here, but and then it's felt, view, react. Memory allocation, vanilla is best, view, blah, blah, blah. so it's pretty much the same um, in all of these benchmarks. So non key results, we got felt here, felt, felt. Okay, great job, felt. Okay, so that's two points for Svelte, we'll say. Now, perf track, oops, start, it's supposed to start here. So this is from May 1st, and um, it's looking at a bunch of different websites built in different frameworks. Svelte only has uh, 387, small sample size, but we're gonna look at it anyway. So React here, um, you can see first contentful paint, we want more green uh, is good. So as we progress along, React, now view, a little bit more green, and then Svelte, a little bit more green, great. And then the other thing we can look at is JavaScript writes. JavaScript bytes. First, we have this one, tons of JavaScript bytes in React sites. View, doing a little better. And then Svel is just a little better. OK, so that is this comparison. And then I kind of hesitate to show you this one, but um, basically, I ran metrics on Vue.js.org, uh, React.js.org, and Svelte.dev. Um, and so, View, you can see here. Uh, if you rerun it, it gets different results. So um, I'm just showing. Svelte.dev best is, is best here. And then same here, page speed on desktop. Uh, Vue.js, great job. Svelte.dev, great job. And React.js, a little bit worse. OK, but run this again on, uh, your, yourself, and you'll get different results. So that's not really a, that's not the best comparison. OK, and then here's a, an article you can read if you want, cost of JavaScript frameworks, basically just saying um, you know, these, like React and Vue are pretty heavy uh, um, to use. It adds a lot of bloat to your sites. And then they suggest here at the bottom, Svelte, Preact. I don't know why more people don't use Preact, but um, that's an option too. OK, so that's performance. So Svelte, I hope I showed you Svelte is great performance. Uh, next thing we're going to look at is how much people like these frameworks. So here, this is a state of JS 2019. We'll look at satisfaction. So React here is number one, but they're all pretty much the same. So I'm not going to count that for React. Sorry. Okay, and then interest, you see lots of interest in Svelte, Svelte. but um, again, they're pretty much pretty similar, and this is new, so people love it. Uh, so no points for Svelte there either. OK, and then this is just awareness. That doesn't really matter that much. OK, here's another um, survey. Which of these frameworks have you used during last year? So we see React is number one, Angular, View, and then Svelte. So you know it's not like super tiny, uh, but it's still significantly less. And then which of these ones do you want to keep using? So um, this time, Svelte is number three. Nice. Pretty close to view. And people just love React. So what can I say? OK, and then here, whoops, I was supposed to start off with just Svelte. OK, so you just so you don't, um, so you can see how much Svelte is growing since the beginning of the year, how much it's grown. Going pretty crazy. Um, but if we add view, obviously view is um, significantly more people are using view. But at least you can still see the line. We had in React, though, and it's pretty much, well, you still kind of can. But uh, lots more people use React from NPM downloads. You can download it from 
other places. So um, anyway, okay. So finally, here for usage, Svelte usage for site totals. So of the top ten thousand, thirty of them use Svelte. Nice. Okay, here view um, eighteen, so almost twenty percent, and then here about twice as much as view at thirty six point eight percent. Okay, cool. So that is usage and how much people like it. Um, obviously, React used way more, and Vue is also used way more than Svelte. Okay, finally, we're going to look at jobs and why um, it might not actually be so bad to learn Svelte for jobs. So what I so basically, I signed up for a LinkedIn recruiter view so that I could search by skills. So we'll see here worldwide. So I didn't put any location. There's two thousand seven hundred. This number of people using Svelte. Um, as a skill on LinkedIn. And then there's 318 jobs. So if we calculate that, that is basically 8.5 8 people per job. Okay, and if we look at React, so you got to consider how many people are learning, like your competition. So React has way more jobs for sure, but it's basically 10 people per job. So um, right there, 10. And here is the surprise, which you weren't supposed to see yet, but if we look at View, View's got pretty good proportion. So 300,000 people worldwide and 91,000 jobs. So um, that's three people per job. It's pretty good. Okay, and then here, this is just the United States ones. Um, I guess I, I don't need to show you those. But uh, the proportion is six for Svelte. View is the best. And React has about 10 person per job here. Oh, sorry. Okay, well, the video's over anyway. So um, please let me know what you disagree with. If you have more to add, um, Anything like that, please like and subscribe. Sorry, that's uh, my dog in the background. And that is all for this video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.